Hey there, tail waggers and possum pet lovers. Welcome back to Barktastic Info, where we dive into the doggone fascinating world of our furry friends. Today, we're going to unleash the secrets of canine vision and answer the age-old question, can dogs see colors? So grab your favorite chew toy, get comfy, and let's fetch some knowledge. Now, you might have heard that dogs see the world in black and white like an old-timey movie. But hold your horses, or should I say, hold your hounds, because that's not entirely true. Let's take a colorful journey through the eyes of our four-legged companions. So, what colors can dogs actually see? Drumroll, please. Dogs can see blue and yellow. That's right, your pup can appreciate a clear blue sky or a field of daffodils. But when it comes to reds and greens, they're a bit colorblind. To a dog, a juicy red apple might look more like a dull brownish gray fruit, and that lush green grass, it probably appears more yellowish to them. For starters, dogs are masters of motion detection. Remember those rod cells we talked about earlier? Well, dogs have way more of them than we do. This means they're experts at spotting even the tiniest movements, which is why they're always the first to notice that squirrel darting across the yard. And here's another neat trick up their furry sleeves. Dogs have incredible night vision. Their eyes are designed to let in more light than ours, making them real-life night owls, or should we say night hounds? They even have a special reflective layer behind their retina called the tapetum lucidum. This nifty feature acts like a built-in flashlight, bouncing light back through the retina for a second chance at detection. It's also what gives dogs that eerie glow in their eyes when light hits them at night. Spooky and cool at the same time. Dogs don't just rely on their eyes to understand the world around them. They've got a secret weapon that puts our human senses to shame, their incredible sense of smell. While we humans have about 5 million scent receptors in our noses, dogs have up to 300 million. That's like having a supercomputer for a nose. So even if they can't see all the colors of that flower garden, they can certainly smell every single bloom in exquisite detail. Speaking of smells, here's a mind-blowing fact for you. Recent research has shown that dogs' brains have a direct connection between their smell processing center, the olfactory bulb, and their vision processing center, the occipital lobe. This means that for dogs, seeing and smelling are closely linked experiences. It's like they have smell-o-vision built right into their brains. You might be thinking, if dogs can't see red, why do they get so excited about their red toys? Well, it's not about the color at all. Dogs are more interested in the shape, texture, and movement of their toys. So whether it's red, green, or polka-dotted, if it's fun to chew and chase, your dog will love it. But if you really want to make playtime visually exciting for your pup, try getting them blue or yellow toys. These colors will pop out more in their vision, making them easier to spot during a game of fetch. Imagine throwing a bright blue ball against a yellowish background. Now that's a sight your dog can really sink their teeth into. Here's a fun experiment you can try at home. Get two identical toys, one in blue and one in red. Place them both on the grass and see which one your dog goes for first. Chances are, they'll spot the blue one more easily. It's like a little science experiment, but with more tail wagging and slobber. Now, let's bust another myth while we're at it. You might have heard that dogs are nearsighted, meaning they can't see things clearly at a distance. While it's true that dogs generally don't have 20-20 vision like humans, they're not exactly bumping into walls either. Most dogs have vision that's equivalent to 20-75 in human terms. This means that what a human with perfect vision can see clearly at 75 feet, a dog needs to be about 20 feet away to see with the same clarity. But don't feel too superior with your human eyes just yet. Dogs have a wider field of vision than we do. While humans can see about 180 degrees around them, dogs can see up to 250 degrees. That's almost like having eyes in the back of their head. No wonder they always seem to know when you're sneaking a snack in the kitchen. Let's take a moment to appreciate how amazing evolution is. Dogs' eyes have developed over thousands of years to be perfectly suited for their needs. They might not be able to appreciate a rainbow in all its glory like we can, but they can spot a rabbit hopping in a dimly lit field from a distance that would leave us squinting.
And here's a fun fact that might make you look at your dog a little differently. Despite their limited color vision, dogs can still see more colors than some other animals. Cats, for example, are also dichromatic like dogs. So the next time your cat looks unimpressed by your new colorful outfit, remember that they're seeing it in much the same way as your dog. Now you might be wondering, is there any way I can see the world through my dog's eyes? Well, you're in luck. There are some cool apps and websites out there that can show you what the world looks like to your canine companion. One such app is called Dog Vision, and it lets you take photos and see them transformed into how a dog might perceive them. It's a fun way to get a glimpse into your furry friend's visual world. But remember, while these apps can give us an idea of how dogs see colors, they can't replicate the full canine visual experience. Dogs' eyes are much more sensitive to movement and light than ours, so a static image doesn't tell the whole story. Now let's dive a bit deeper into the science behind canine vision. The reason dogs see fewer colors than humans is due to the types of cones in their retinas. Humans have three types of cones, each sensitive to different wavelengths of light, short, medium, and long. Dogs, on the other hand, only have two types of cones, one sensitive to blue light and another that's somewhere between red and green. This means that while we see the world in a combination of red, green, and blue, dogs see the world primarily in blue and yellow. Their version of red might look more like a brownish yellow, while green might appear as a paler yellow, but don't feel too bad for our canine companions. Their color vision, while different from ours, is perfectly suited to their needs. In the wild, distinguishing between blue and yellow would have been crucial for survival. Blue could represent the sky or water, while yellow might indicate prey or predators against a backdrop of grass or sand. Interestingly, this dichromatic vision isn't unique to dogs. Many mammals, including some New World monkeys, are also dichromats. It's believed that this type of color vision was the norm for early mammals who were mostly nocturnal. As primates evolved to be more active during the day, they developed the third type of cone, allowing for trichromatic vision. But dogs aren't just living in a world of blue and yellow, they also see various shades of gray, which helps them distinguish between objects of similar color but different brightness. This ability, combined with their superior motion detection, makes them excellent at spotting movement even in low-light conditions. Speaking of low-light conditions, let's talk more about that amazing canine night vision. As we mentioned earlier, dogs have a reflective layer behind their retina called the tapetum lucidum. This layer reflects light back through the retina giving the light-sensitive cells a second chance to register the light. This is why dogs' eyes seem to glow in the dark when light hits them. It's the light being reflected back out of their eyes. Now you might be wondering how all this affects your dog's daily life. Well, for starters, it might explain why your dog sometimes seems to ignore that bright red toy you just bought them. To them it might not stand out much from the background, but that doesn't mean they can't play with it. They'll use their other senses like smell and hearing to locate it. This also explains why many dog toys and training tools come in blue or yellow. These colors are more easily distinguishable for dogs, making them more effective for training and play. So, if you're trying to teach your dog a new trick, using a blue or yellow target might make it easier for them to see and understand what you want them to do. But color isn't everything when it comes to what dogs find visually appealing. They're also attracted to movement and contrast. This is why many dog toys are designed to bounce erratically or make unpredictable movements. It taps into their natural hunting instincts and keeps them engaged. It's also worth noting that while dogs might not see all the colors we do, they're experts at picking up on other visual cues. They can detect even subtle changes in body language, which is a key part of how they communicate with each other and with us. So while they might not appreciate the exact shade of your new shirt, they can certainly tell when you're happy, sad, or excited just by looking at you. Let's take a moment to appreciate how this unique vision affects a dog's perception of the world. Imagine you're walking your dog through a park on a beautiful autumn day. You're admiring the vibrant reds, oranges, and yellows of the changing leaves. Your dog, however, is seeing a world of muted yellows and blues, but what they lack in color perception, they make up for in other ways. They're noticing every little movement, the squirrel darting between trees, the leaves rustling in the breeze, the jogger approaching from a distance. And let's not forget about their incredible sense of smell, 
While they might not see the full spectrum of fall colors, they're experiencing an olfactory feast that we can only imagine. Every leaf, every blade of grass, every passing animal leaves a scent trail that tells a story to your dog's sensitive nose. This combination of senses, their unique color vision, their ability to detect motion, their night vision, and their incredible sense of smell, all come together to create a rich, complex picture of the world. It's a world that's different from ours, but no less vibrant or interesting. So the next time you're playing fetch with your furry friend, remember that they're seeing the world in their own special way. That red ball might not look red to them, but they can track its movement with incredible precision. And when they bring it back to you, tail wagging, they're not just playing a game. They're engaging in a behavior that taps into thousands of years of evolution, using senses that have been finely tuned to make them the perfect companions for humans. In conclusion, while dogs might not see the world in the same vibrant hues that we do, their vision is perfectly adapted to their needs. They might miss out on seeing a red rose in all its glory, but they can spot a tennis ball from across the park and navigate in low-light conditions that would leave us stumbling. Remember, to your dog, you're not just a color-changing blob, you're their whole world, no matter what shade you appear to be. So keep playing, keep loving, and keep appreciating the unique and wonderful way your dog experiences the world. And who knows, maybe one day we'll invent doggy contact lenses that let them see all the colors of the rainbow. But until then, let's celebrate the special way our canine companions view the world, full of motion, excitement, and most importantly, full of their favorite humans. That's all for today, folks. Remember to give your furry friends an extra pat and maybe a blue or yellow toy to brighten up their day. Keep exploring the world through your dog's eyes and you'll discover a whole new level of appreciation for these amazing animals. Until next time, this is Barktastic Info, signing off. See you later.